Welcome inside the championship capital of Philippine basketball, the Smart Araneta Coliseum, and Greg Zilla, Greg Slaughter, and of course, uh, yung mga kasama niya sa Barangay Hinebra, yung Chapit Aguilar, they're trying to bounce back huh, from what was, for their fans, a stunning loss to uh, Sanig uh, Super Coffee. Well, for Dorian Peña and the Rocket JC and Tala and the rest of the Energy Colas, you know, trying to make that march towards the uh, next round. The Towers versus the Powers. Para sa Super Bowl Sunday, live on TV5. Miko Alili with uh, Jason Webb. And of course, you know, palapit na tayo ng palapit nasa dulo ng elimination round. But at this point, you have two teams that are gunning for, uh, for a win for different reasons. On one end, Barangay Hinebra, they want to secure that top one or number two slot to be able to get that twice to beat advantage. On the other hand, Barako Bull, tinanjan pa rin sila sa log jam kahit na papano. They want to make sure that they get to at least six wins so that, you know, they get a better seeding come the quarterfinals. Okay, let's let's look at uh, what happened actually to uh, Hinebra in their last game. Of course, all eyes on uh, Slaughter and uh, and Aguilar. And people expecting that Hinebra would dominate that game against Sammy Coffee, but that did not happen. Totally the opposite. They weren't able to dominate and neither did the rebounding prowess of the two people that you mentioned. Both uh, Greg Slaughter and Japet Aguilar under eight rebounds. For, for them individually. At nakita rin natin, as a team, they were out-rebounded 60-39. And Hinebra allowed 22 offensive rebounds. And you would think, with a front line that big, na sila yung makakuha ng maraming rebounds. And so they're hoping to, uh, you know, make amends from that loss and perhaps dominate Barako Bull sa game natin ngayong hapon. Of course, yung Barako naman, hindi lang basta-basta papayag. Uh, that, you know, Hinebra's front line would do that because, uh, you know, itong uh, Barako Bull, and they turned the corner and they're actually in the best win uh, win streak or win run for themselves um, uh, past the Christmas season. They're going three out of four and they actually re out rebounded a very good rebounding Petron team for a team that actually struggles getting rebounds. Yeah, Mick Benisi will try and help out. Uh, you saw Mark Isim in the graphic, but what about that white man, Big Dorian Pena? I mean, who let the jugger dog out? Because uh, he's, uh, you know, look at his numbers. It, it they, they really say everything. Right, parang ano? Di, ito yung panahon ni ko the all star pa. Ato si Dorian Pena, and he has come out there, and he has been a force in the middle. Just when you're talking about Greg Zilla, you're talking about June Mar Fajardo, Dorian Pena turning back the hands of time and playing big time basketball. <laughs> And now, the 25 for your Barangay Hinebra San Miguel! At center, number 20, Greg Slaughter. At forward, number 25, Chapin Aguilar. Also at forward, number 45, Matt Bonadell. At guard, number 47, Mark Aguila. And also at guard, number 5, L.A. Tenorio. Head coach for Barangay Hinebra is coach Anto Augustine. Our officials are Jimmy Mariano, Sharon Benetta, and Dr. Anai with Jim Marabe as alternate referee. This game is under the supervision. Here are your primary protagonists for today's ball game. Yeah, surprise, surprise. Guess who's back in the starting lineup? Para sa Parangay Hinebra, Mark Kagiwa making a start after a long time coming off the bench. Your Supreme Court, Dax Daganay, Sherwin Pineda, and the Chief Justice will be Jimmy Mariano. Isang magandang hapon po sa kanilang lahat. Salamat sa inyong pagtutok dito sa PBA on TV5. JC Intal sends it to uh, Peña. Peña, oh, oh, look out! Whoa. Oh, look out! Okay. Okay, fortunately, uh, wala naman natapakan si Dorian, no? So seriously, both of there were two empty seats there. There's actually, check out the guy oh in my blue gosh. right there. <laughs> Look out! And he, he would just, it, after that, he was saving his shades. <laughs> <laughs> right, wouldn't you do the same? Oh, of course. <laughs> Rico Meyerhofer gets the air ball. Wala pa nakaka-score sa dalawang uh, kuponan. And here's Carlo Lastimosa. Sends it to Rico Meyerhofer, but that's a race. Jump it. Rico Meyerhofer, ja Japet Aguilar. You know what? They actually entered the league at the same time. Guess who was the rookie of the year? The guy that just got blocked, Japet Aguilar, unable to finish his first uh, season in the PBA that time. 
There's Tenorio. Joined by Japet. There's Mac Barakel, Greg Slaughter, Mark Tagiwa. Slaughter misses. One more try, and he is fouled. Uh, looks like there was a push from Denok Miranda. For Paracubo to have success against Barangay Hinebra. They're gonna do what uh, yung ginawa ng San Mig Coffee Super Coffee Mixers. Ang ginawa nila, team rebounding. So guys like Denok, the rest of the guards have to help out the big men to be able to control the likes of Japet Aguilar and Greg Slaughter. Always compelling pag pagtatapat mo yung, uh, you know, youth. Because you know, Greg's a rookie and uh, Japet's still, you know, still a relatively young player in the league. And then yung mga katapat nila sa kabila, yung Dorian Peña, and then yung Nick Benisi. Derok Miranda fires. Somebody held on to uh, Japet and uh, Nico says, okay, my bad. So loose ball foul on Meyerhofer, his first. Now, that's that opportunity when you talk about what you mentioned, uh, Miko. You have veterans compared to these new guns or new stars of the league. It's a chance for the new stars to show the veterans, Kamina, and a chance for the veterans to say, Sandale, panahon pa rin namin. Nandito pa kami. That's a clear push uh, against L.A. Tenorio. Even L.A. knew it. Hindi mga kumakalusot, bakit hindi? Hindi nakalusot eh, kaya ngiti na lang pagkatapos. Oh, baba na lang. Still a 2 nothing ball game para sa Barangay Hinebra. With uh, nearly two minutes having gone by in the opening quarter. Nastimosa. Interception by Tenorio. Two on one break. L.A. to Kagiwa. And Kagiwa would score. Miko, with Mark Kagiwa starting today, and also an opportunity for Mark to get his offense going. Here's our Kawasaki rousing fast break, brought to you by Rouser. 135 by Kawasaki. Rouse the rider in you. You know, when he plays that second unit, you, you have that opportunity for a guy to be a big time scorer in the second unit of Barangay Hinebra. But at the same time, Nangyayari, maybe a lot of pressure on Mark to score. Now when he's with his first unit, eh, may, makikita natin yung depensa, hindi masyado nakatutok sa kanya agad. Dorian has to be, I mean, really, really motivated because, uh, you know, what a renaissance tournament for him. Slaughter, pasa kay Parakel, shot knocked down to 10. And Parakel uncorks. A big tambola, and it will be last touch on Hinebra. And Dorian Peña, he did not actually have a good start to the conference, but then last few games, especially in Papanaluna, Ang Barako, that's when he's come alive. Shot clock reached 13, pull up three, Denok Miranda, long rebound, who gets it? Denok actually gets it. Pasake Meyerhofer, Meyerhofer, drop pass, in Tal, no go. Rebound, Mark Kogiwa. Mark's on the move. Pass to Tenorio. Tenorio for three. Yes, sir! Brought to you by PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. First five points of, or five of the eight points of Barangay Hinebra coming off pushing the basketball a little bit quicker. Shot clock down to eight. Peña against Slaughter. And yep. good call. Good. Rare, rare, but, but correct, but correct. Call. Lift, uh, yun yung, uh, lifting, lifting. Yung Kept the ball underneath to actually save some time. Of course, the NBA, everyone's allowed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> <Kahit bawang. laughs> That's a time to shoot para sa Hinebra. Pull up by Japet and easy rebound for uh, Dorian Peña. Barakobo looking for win number six uh, here in the tournament. End up cross court Itan. Entry pass to Dorian. Ooh, erased by Greg Zilla. Bullet pass intended for Japet Aguilar. And the ball will stay with Hinebra. Lamang sila ng six points. Barangay Hinebra, the best defensive team in terms of shot blocking so far in the tournament. And you saw the reason right there, Greg. Greg Slaughter and Japet Aguilar, they combined for about six, just between the two of them. Corner shot, Tenorio. And Barakael gets it. 
So bago siya na para sa Ginebra. He's jump it. A long one. Got it. Too many opportunities para sa Barangay Ginebra to start this game. Another offensive rebound for them. That's the second of the game. And both times that they've had an offensive rebound, nakakuha sila ng puntos. First two points for Japet Aguilar. And now it's an eight-point advantage for Ginebra. JC and Tao will miss the three-point shot. Peña over to Meyerhofer. Look out. When you have a game and, and, and you have two teams competing against each other, what you're looking to find out or you're searching is on an individual basis, saan ba ako may lamang dito? Ang mahirap dito sa Barako Bowl, on an individual basis, di mo makikita kung saan sila merong lamang na player. And the point guard might be difficult. Maybe uh, Deno can post up LA, but the rest of the other guys, you can see that they don't match up very well against Barangay Hinebra. This PLDD Home DSL uh, PBA Philippine Cup is presented by the reliable family size connection of PLDD Home DSL, the number one home broadband. Paragayel for three. Yes, sir. Brought to you by PLDD Home DSL, the number one home broadband. Yeah, he's the best shooter right now. Para sa barangay, never from the three point range. He's 50%, and he has found a niche with the Jin King. 7 and 22 remaining in the opening period and Ginebradito will be back after this timeout. At the Coliseum, nagbabalik po ang inyong PBA. Hindi pa natatalo ng dalawang sunod na beses itong Barangay Ginebra this conference. Ang sabi ni Coach at Augustine, madali daw silang magising sa pagkakamali at kahit daw nasa tuktok sila ng team standings, na importante pa rin ang bawat larong natitira dito sa eliminations. More than getting that number one spot, it's the confidence that they're trying to build entering the playoffs ang mas mahalaga sa kanya. Nico? Well, yung uh, unang uh, part ng report ni Risa, I mean, yun yung, uh, I guess, uh, proof that uh, he never has been doing well. Hindi pa sila natatalo. <laughs> back to back. <laughs> Too straight. Of course, uh, you know, Barako, a very dangerous opponent. Especially that, uh, you know, they're on a winning run here. Slaughter uh, tapping the ball to himself and ball ngayon ng Hinebra. Going back basically saved two points for his team right there. Pass in the LA. Napunta kay uh, Mark. LA goes to Japet. Japet, soft touch. And there's Slaughter taking care of business. Right now, Hinebra showing why they don't lose back-to-back -back games. They've dominated this game from the start. Kenya. Trying to send that ball to Lastimosa. Shot clock down to 10. At alas na ang lahat na tayo sa opening quarter. At ball na nagapig palabas ni Tenorio. Uh, you remember when I mentioned that on one-on-one, -on -one, you don't see an advantage on Barako for any player on the side again on versus Barangay Hinebra. So Barako Bull has to find a way to get that ball moving to get some better shots. Right now, they're one out of 10 in the game. Pull up. Kagiwa. No go. Rebound. Barako Bull down by 11 points. And then of Miranda, oh, shot was swatted away, but it will stay with uh, Barako Bull. Here's Intal, open shot over Barakael. Had some good looks and finally gets a better look, a little bit closer para dito kay JC, coming off a best player of the game against Petron. Minutes and a titira in the opening quarter. Chapit against Meyerhofer. So Meyerhofer shutting the door on uh, Chapit who uh, you know wanted to go baseline but was ginamit, not allowed. Ginamit ni Rico yung katawan niya. Pero naman talaga siya katawan ni. Pero mas sirabi malaki. Mark Agiwa goes to Aguilar. Sends it to Barakael. Lamang pa rin ang Ginebra, 15-6 in the opening period. Slaughter against Peña, locates Barakael from the corner. Bullet dodge there para din sa Barako Bull, can't leave that guy open. And so Denok calls the play here, 13 to shoot. Denok saw the move, pasa kay Meyerhofer, perfect, uh, perfect pass and a perfect finish. Good finish on the part of Rico. Rico now with four points, getting some from the free throw line. And there, that nice layup. Tenorio on the right side. 
Tapos pa rin ang Hinebra, 15-8. Pull up by LA. And Slaughter gets the rebound. And the put back at Greg now with six points. Yeah, Dorian's big, but the thing is, Greg is much bigger and Dorian has allowed Greg to get his feet in the paint to get offensive rebounds. 13 to shoot for uh, Baraco Bol. Pull up the uh, Rico Blairhoff. Wow, he's spearheading the attack for Baraco Bol in the first. Like you said, he was the rookie of the year against Japet Aguilar. And right now, he's actually playing better than Japet for the first uh, seven minutes and a half. Japet with only two points as of the moment. Eight to shoot for Inebra. Alley oop for Slaughter. Rako Bull still trailing by seven. Carlo Lastimosa has the ball. Shot clock down to ten. Lastimosa against Terorio. Lastimosa on the move. Runner, no good. And ooh, a dangerous pass for Javid Aguilar. And somehow he snatches the ball away, sends it to Slaughter. And Slaughter will miss. And a rebound for Meyerhofer. Still a seven-point game para sa Barajo Bull as we approach the last three minutes of the opening quarter. Now Ital wants to post up Mark Kagiwa. Sends it out to Lastimosa and then entry pass for Peña. That will be against Greg Slaughter, his first. Morgan, Peña huffing and puffing. That's how you. That's how you know. Kaya yan ang uh, ebidensya. Uh, he's really working hard. Paghingal na hingal na siya. Remember we had that interview. Para di mo makausap. Kula na magmakaawa. Guys, can I go to the locker room now? <laughs> Five to shoot. Meyerhofer for three. He check. Really? Yes. Meyerhofer? <laughs> check. Three point shot? No, yeah. no it, was it was under duress with the, uh, <laughs> with the shot clock. Will you getting some pointers to Meyerhofer? Magbabalik po kami after this. Time out. Be a liberal lover with Liberate Silver and Capsule. It's Liberal Lover, boy. Thank you for joining us at the Super Bowl Sunday as we send you back to Ms. Riza Diaz. Miko, after back-to-back -back wins, Barago is feeling good coming into this game. Although they know it's never easy to play Barangay Hinebra, lalong-lalo na nga daw paggaling ito sa pagkatalo. Ang plano nila, find those chinks in the armor of Barangay Hinebra and take advantage of those. Continue the hard work, stay close to Barangay Hinebra until the end of this game. And who knows, pwede daw sila makapull up ng isang upset just like what they did with Petron. Miko? Salamat, Riza. Following up on that report, Jason, ano ba yung mga cheeks? In other words, mga witnesses sa laro ng Hinebra. <laughs> it's not really much. <laughs> How many losses do they have? Two at the moment? Yes. So, you know, a lot of teams have tried to find uh, find it, but not a lot have, you know, have con not all the teams have found it yet. Ital, shot clock winding down. Meyerhofer attacks. Emergency pass. I think today this will be kumbagay ano yung uh, tawag dyan nagmamatrikula mag, mag, yung uh, education ni ano ni Slaughter oh, parang master masteral class in terms of how to uh, survive in the paint because he's playing against Dorian Peña and now he has to go up against <laughs> Nick Benisi and which, PhD to PhD <laughs> which actually this might be a a better situation para dito sa Barako Bull because that puts Greg on the outside at least in their offense and could open up things for them um, here in the first quarter. Another turnover. They, that's been the problem of Inebra. It was the first, first quarter. Lots and lots of turnovers. Willie Miller, pull up three. Short. Miller got his own miss. Big Benisi for three. Too long. And Tenorio starts to break. Therefore, Ellis is not part of the game. Ellis, whoops, two Inebra players trying to uh, get that pass. Turnover. Willie Miller, slow mo move, no go. And Ital gets the rebound. Ital, uh, whoa. A lot of uh, uh, yeah. faulty decision making on both ends. Tenorio, hesitation move, no. And somehow Tenorio still has the ball. 
with under two minutes remaining in the opening quarter. Good job in the quarter. And they set it up because a lot of things, you know, not a lot of things happening on the floor. Not, not a lot of positive things. LA for three. Marajo ball down by nine. And Deno has nowhere to go. Needs help. Gets it out to Meyerhofer. One minute remaining here in the opening quarter. If, if Mick camps out at 3.9, he's going to get a lot of love. And Miller, no go. What an Martin athlete. Aliwa on the move. Mark, no! He was fouled by Meyerhofer. But before that, what an athletic play on the part of Chapit Aguilar. Second, there's a reason, sorry, Miko. There's ahead, a reason why Barangay Hinebra is actually able to get out on the fast break and run. It's the athleticism of their big men or their ability to block shots. Right there, that's actually you can call that a block shot. That changes everything right there and allows the guards to get out and run. So far, Chapit with uh, two points, trying to make an impact on the defensive end for Hinebra. Mark Isip coming in the uh, ball game for the first time with uh, Keith Jensen. Uh, Josh Urbistono also sent in uh, para naman sa Hinebra as uh, Tenorio takes a breather. And all eyes on Mark Kagiwa. And he gives Hinebra an 11-point advantage with less than a minute remaining dito sa opening period. Willie Miller to Mark Isip. Ronjay Buenafe also in the ball game. Here's Mick Penisi. Shot clock reads nine. It's Miller against Kagiwa. And Mick fakes. Mick drives. Whoa. What a graceful move. <laughs> I, I don't get to say that often. <laughs> you know, everyone's gonna run out and try to block a shot from a three-point range. Nama pa rin Hinebra, 21-12. And... Basket won't count. Tumapak si Japit sa baseline. It's another turnover against Hinebra. Hinebra with four turnovers. And, and those four turnovers are for, pretty much... It's to be not unforced. Eh. Keith Jensen fires. <laughs> Only 4.9 seconds remaining in the opening quarter. And Ellis will try and write the last sentence of the first chapter. Three seconds to go. A long three by Ellis. And that ends the opening period. Lamang ang Hinebra. 21-12 over Barako Bol. Hinebra looking for win number 10. Trying to solidify their... Uh, to get uh, you know that twice to beat advantage. Oh,